Today we're going to do the experiment mixing liquids with water. What you need to have first is your lab sheet. I've printed mine out, but if you have it pulled up on the computer while you're watching, that's fine as well. Before you begin this experiment, you'll want to fill out the top portion of your lab sheet. The question for this experiment is do all liquids mix with water? The observation comes from the video where we watched food coloring get mixed with water. What happened? What did you see? Write it down. The hypothesis is your educated guess on what you think is going to happen. What is the result of this experiment? The predictions you want to place an X in the yes or the no box showing if you predict the liquid will or will not mix. Pause the video now and fill this out. Now that we've made our predictions and hypothesis, we need to gather our supplies. In front of me, I have five plastic cups, five spoons, five paper towels, a marker, a teaspoon, and a measuring cup. I've also gotten all of the liquids together, the rubbing alcohol, vegetable oil, milk, syrup, and vinegar. I also have a pitcher of water, but you can just get it out of the sink if that's easier. After you've gathered all your supplies, you move on to the procedure. Step one tells me to write the names of the liquids onto the paper towels. all my paper towels labeled, step two tells me to put one cup on each paper towel. This will help me keep my experiment organized. Now step three tells me to put a half a cup of water into each of our cups. sure that every cup has the same amount of water at the same temperature. This helps us to know that the water or the temperature is not affecting our experiment. Now we're ready to begin the actual experimenting. Step four tells me to measure a teaspoon of the liquid into the cup and then stir for 20 seconds. I'm going to use this smaller cup to help me measure my vinegar. And then I'm stirring for 20 seconds. Now that I've stirred the vinegar for 20 seconds, I'm going to take a closer look and see what I observe in the cup. Pause the video and write down your observations on the lab sheet under vinegar and water. The next liquid on our lab sheet is the rubbing alcohol. I'm going to follow the same process that I did with the vinegar and measure one teaspoon and then stir for 20 seconds. Now it's time to observe what happened to the rubbing alcohol in the cup. Let's take a closer look. Make sure to pause the video and write down your observation under rubbing alcohol and water. The next liquid on our list is cooking oil. Again, I'm gonna follow the same process using the smaller cup to help me measure. It's really important when doing a science experiment to follow the same steps over and over again so that you know everything is turning out the same. Now that we've mixed the cooking oil for 20 seconds, let's take a closer look to see if we observe anything different by mixing the cooking oil and water. And remember to pause the video and write your observations on your lab sheet under cooking oil and water. The next liquid is the pancake syrup. And as we've done before, the same process, one teaspoon of syrup and then stir for 20 seconds.
Now it's time for that closer look. Let's see what happened when we mixed syrup with water. And you know I'm gonna tell you, pause the video and make your observations on your lab sheet. We've made it to our final liquid in our experiment. We're gonna measure the one teaspoon of milk, pour it in, and stir. It's time for our last final look to see what happened when we mixed milk with water. Make sure to fill in your final observation under milk and water on your lab sheet. Let's take one last close look at the mixtures we've made today. Now that we've finished our experiment, it's time to draw our conclusions. We want to think about the things that we've learned today. What liquids mixed well with water and what liquids did not mix well with water? Also think about the similarities of the liquids that did mix well and the similarities of the liquids that didn't mix well. Also, you can expand on this experiment and think of some other household liquids you have that you might like to see if they mix or don't mix. Be sure to fill out your conclusion and join our group discussion.